Because you might have to stick this in someplace and look at stuff. Friday morning, 4.15. Why am I up at 4.15? Because if I don't, then I won't. Woke up at 2.30, wide awake, but I needed to sleep more, right? Went to sleep last night at midnight. Woke up at 3.30, pretty awake, checking that clock, make sure I don't miss 4.30, right? And then I wake up at 4. And if I don't get up at 4 and I'm waiting for 4.30, I'm gonna blow right past that and it's gonna be 5 or whatever, right? If you don't, then you won't. And that's how most things are. Little three cell pocket slide, new product we launched last night hate this thing, so I guess I'll start here. I'm after a thousand in five minutes and I beat it. Just after 10 o'clock, Mama Duck is out running around. Let's take a look at her nest here. Oh uh, yeah, we're down one egg it looks like. And a brand new one. So one's gone and there's a brand new fresh white one. Will water come out of this hose? We have it downhill. Because we have nice weather right now, it's probably 40 degrees maybe, no ice. But we're supposed to have some really cold weather coming. It's supposed to be really cold today. So maybe this is a precursor of what's to come and it will be nice this weekend, but we're supposed to have a lot of really cold weather and freeze. So while we have flowing running water, we'll go ahead and fill these troughs back up. That one's kind of scuzzy and nasty. This one here is nice and clean because it's fresh chlorinated water. Whereas this one is mostly just rainwater that keeps getting added to the scuzzy and nasty. Not that the animals care. I mean, they lick each other's butts. They eat poop. This would be a good ice bath trough. Just wait. This will be a U.S. Olympic game in a couple of years here. You'll just hold a hose and you'll make uh, bubbles and sound in water. That'll be your next uh, U.S. Olympic event. Right up there with curling, you know, and darts and bowling. They're not sports anymore, they're games. So what's everybody's plan for the weekend? We're going to run out tonight and pick up 600 chocolate cakes, I think, for International Chocolate Cake Day. By the time you see this, that'll be long gone and passed, but it will be something cool. Free little promo item also gets you free shipping. A lot of guys buy five, six, seven, eight, ten orders to get the free items, and they're usually pretty something cool, something usable in some manner in other places. And then a lot of guys will put them on eBay and sell them and make back their money of the cost of the order. So they get whatever they wanted free, sell off the promo items, and recoup their money a lot of times so we'll go do that tonight then this weekend I'm not sure what all we're doing but one of the pushes is going to be to chicken breast we're gonna pick up a lot of chicken breast and cube up chicken breast on the live feed last night there we had a lot of talk about the freeze dryer and it dawned on me that the freeze dryer was not running and if you own a freeze dryer and it's not running well then it's sitting there not making you money so we're gonna freeze dry a bunch more chicken and you know, kind of push that bulk that up a little add a few hundred more pounds over time I won't bring a hundred pounds home in time but we'll bring 40 pounds home at a time process it have it in the fridge ready to go into the freeze dryer and then as the freeze dryer cycles we'll empty it have another batch ready to go right behind it it takes some cool down time you gotta let it defrost get the ice out of it that's the reason for the weekend what else we'll do while we're out i don't know it'll be something fun though you will see some baby bunnies bounce some baby bunny baskets fluffy 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 puffy muffin baskets i don't see any baby bunnies here they are Ooh, look at this cute little gray one Come here, you little bunny nugget. Well, how long have they been in there? Uh, weeks. They're kind of small. I think it's just because it's cold. All the babies lately have had kind of like longer hair. It must just be their winter coat. Isn't that guy cute? Maybe I'll take him with me. Now nah, he'll pee in my pocket. Mom's kind of freaking out here. Hello. You did not do your job very well. Are you gonna bite me? You are gonna bite me, aren't you? Come on, I need you out of here. Come on, you're gonna watch me get the shit bit out of me. I've never been, I, I shouldn't even finish the sentence. <laughs> I've never been bit by a rabbit.
can just grab that rooster by the butt. Man, they're not doing nothing with these little babies. Maybe because the fur's on them, but they'll get them. They'll eat them. I've never seen them do that. We always throw dead and stillborns and wire-born babies. We always throw them out here and the chickens just gobble them up. I guess they're probably not hungry right now because we just fed them a lot of uh, meat out of the fridge clean out. There's that purple Orpington. Oh, you thought I was calling you, huh? Come here. What's up with the eye boogers? old hog pants. That's a crazy pipe. I wonder what, maybe it was just part of a trash can. Yeah. But it's grown into, the tree grew through it. Yeah, just old hog pens, man. I haven't looked at these in probably two years. We haven't been back this way. Somebody made a go of this a long, long time ago. You're about to lose your cutters here. Bottle of piss. Probably somebody's piss. Okay, don't taste it. Carrots are looking pretty miserable. Let's see. see a little one right there. We'll pull this one, see what's down here. Even after being covered in snow and ice, there's still a carrot there. And it tastes just like carrot. Can you make this delicious? You get the most smoke and heat cool. right in this area here. Right on. This is uh, lemon juice, white vinegar, sugar, black pepper, cayenne pepper, red pepper flake. Do you always use the same uh, juice box blend or do you make them different every time? I make it the same every time. Man, don't those look good? What's up? Tastes pretty good. Six o'clock. Ice. It might still snow. Who knows? That is frozen water on the windshield. What do you think of this? I think it's awesome. I think that's super awesome too. I think we should make it a little bigger and put a zipper in it. Is this frozen Starbucks? I don't know if it's frozen, but it's definitely Starbucks. Do you think it's okay to still drink it? Absolutely. Why? I just, because I, I just don't think that it's good. It's got milk in it. But it's been cold. It hasn't been above 65 degrees all week. Right, it's supposed to not be above 40 degrees to be safe. First of all, do we do we really think they're even using milk? They're using milk. I don't know where you think it comes from. Maybe it's coffee. Look at this. To keep my bald head warm. Why don't you just wear a beanie? Because all my beanies are carpet. Didn't you buy like a thousand dollars worth of stuff to make beanies with? Don't you have a like professional beanie making machine it's now? It's not here yet. I was hoping it was gonna be here. I was really counting on it being here so that I could whip some beanies up this weekend. But it's not here. Did I really see a, a bag of 500 poof balls come in the door? Like you're gonna build 500 beanies. Or 250 with two poof balls. They don't have dual poof balls on me. Sure they do. And there we are. Freeze dry our load of chicken breast, taco seasoning, and that other stuff. What'd you get? Like a couple pieces of lettuces and jalapeno with some sauce? It was yellowtail jalapeno. Oh, Lettuce so. and sauce. Come on, you know the sauce. I don't know the sauce. Hello, Home Depot, my old friend. <laughs> Glad to see you here again. Sing some. Hello, Home Depot, my old friend. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to take some voice lessons. I can't. I can auto tune you. You're gonna have to. What are we here for? Out. Nope. We're looking at axes. Oh. Might have to chop up something sometime. I might. A gas can for all this electric lawn tool. Hey, you know those mornings when you just don't want to get out of bed? I could get one of these leaf blowers. Would you be mad? You wouldn't even need coffee. I would be hella mad. Try these gloves on, they're awesome. Jeremy said they're doing some nonsense where you have to register up front and open your box and shit and they they link it to you somehow, all this the power tools and shit now. It's gonna be so they can turn off all your yeah. your tools or whatever so you can't work or some shit.
Um, I'm gonna need a five-year-old to figure out how to get this out of here. But I think that's just for smacking people with. I want monkeys. No, maybe little, little ones. What, tiny ones. Do you think these associates get ax training? No. Should we ask her which one's better to cut a person up with? She looks like she's probably cut a few people up. Because you might have to stick this in someplace and look at stuff. What if you get a bean stuck in your nose? Those are literally the worst multi-tools I've ever had in my life. Should we buy a tool? So I was watching him do this video and he's buying fuel tools at Home Depot, right? But when he gets it home and opens it up, it's not the fuel stuff. Somebody's opened it and then retaped it super carefully. So he takes it back and they won't do shit about it. He's like, so now on, from now on, when you buy your tools, that's the scam everybody's running. So you have to open them in the store while you're in the cameras so that you can, still are with an associate. And he's like, it's ridiculous because they had to open a cage, they had to open a cable lock, they had to go through all this shit, and then th then your ass out. She didn't even seem to think it was odd we were buying four axes. Talking about Willis, one of the realest to try. My family, SOE, got the tools to survive. Yeah.